Summer represents a time to roam and discover the beauty of places near and far. Six artists exhibiting in the new Gallery 625 show Wanderlust explore places of beauty from Yolo County to Europe and everywhere in between. Paintings in acrylic, oil, watercolor, and pastel feature landscapes of Spain, France, and Italy, the landmarks of our national parks, and the back roads of Yolo County. The featured artists are Rhonda Egan, Kathleen C. Gamper, Mary Neary King, Ann Lincoln, Judy Asplin Neal, and Carol Stone. And now, three of the artists will talk about their work. Okay, my name is Judy Neal, and I am an, mostly an acrylic artist, and I lean towards painting landscape. What drew me to the Wanderlust show is the opportunity to paint these pieces. Um, the idea that I went on these very significant trips that I wanted to represent like snapshots of those three trips that I took, especially these here that I took with my sister and with my brother. I kind of likened them. I picked out this format because it kind of reminded me of say, the old, what was it, 126 film that was square and um, like they are just like snapshots, Polaroid snapshots of, of those trips. I'm primarily a studio painter, but I do plein air paint. Um, I like to get out into the, out into the wilds and by being out there on location, you can see the colors, the light, that is actual, that a camera can know, cannot pick up. So um, what I do is I essentially make my planar work mostly like notations of the day, and then I'll go home and either create a new body of work, a new piece of work from, I'll use it as a study. Some of the paintings in the show today, um, again, they were from three different locations, Yellowstone, um, Arches National Park and Lake Tahoe. The Lake Tahoe pieces were significant to me because it was the first workshop that I had ever taken with a well-known artist, Greg Condos, and um, he was gracious enough to, after the workshop, I took my work in and said, oh, you know, this piece of work is, is fine, but, and he said, okay, because it is plain air, you've essentially painted everything in this scene. He said, what you have in this body of work, or this piece of work is about five paintings. So I took his suggestion and took that plein air painting and created pieces of work, work artwork um, that I'll show you shortly from that one plein air piece that again is considered a study. I began as a graphic artist in my 20s I took radio and television productions in my teens. That's what I was trained to do. And then in my radio and television production education, I got graphic design experience. And then from there, I went into graphic design, um, then had a family. I didn't want the children exposed to the oil paints and the solvents. So I thought acrylic is the way to go for me. It's fast drying. Um, and I've just developed a style with a lot of glazing of the acrylics. Since they dry quickly, I can glaze on top of the different layers. Sometimes my paintings have 20 layers of glazing on top to catch a glow. So um, I've tried using oils, but my love is acrylic. With the acrylic paintings, I started doing pastel. I also do mixed media and installation work. And with my pastel, I started creating plein air work since it doesn't dry, I can be outside all day and there is no drying. So, but I started painting or doing the pastels on black paper and loved the outcome. So with all of the pieces in this show, um, I have created these paintings on black gesso. So the surface area is I start out with is black and that inspiration came from the pastel plein air work that I've done. I'd like to sum up this show is very strong. I love seeing where people, all the artists have gone to different locations and created the planar paintings, studio paintings, 
of the beautiful world that we have around us. I mean, there's just so much inspiration out there. Outside, you just step out the door and you know, get a lot of inspiration, let alone going to different locations and pretty much having a travel diary um, in your artwork. Uh, my name is Mary Neri King. Um, I'm originally from back east, New England area, and uh, I was very greatly in uh, influenced by my father because he was a photographer and an artist. He was a watercolor artist, and I would say that was my first influence into, you know, doing artwork. And uh, so I was brought up in a home where there was a lot of the arts happening. Uh, painting, drawing, and my brothers are all musicians, and I also play the violin and the cello. <laughs> and um, I think all of these things have really helped me with my art too. So um, I'm standing here by some of my favorite paintings because I'm from back east. I, I just really love the fall foliage and the colors, and I love trees. And even though I, when I moved here in the valley, um, I spent I guess I lived back east maybe 25 years. It's still all in, always in my mind are, are the trees and the, and the colors. And so even though I enjoy doing the uh, landscapes of the agricultural area over here, I still always, and that's when, where, that's when I do my plein air painting. I always come back to um, the tree paintings and the foliage. Probably one of the artist that influenced me was uh, Paul Gauguin, the post-impressionist era, because the colors were so vibrant. And I could get that vibrancy a lot more with the uh, acrylics than with, with the watercolor. So there's more um, New England pictures. Here's another one from uh, that was taken in Clinton. Uh, most of my family, actually all my family lives back east except me. <laughs> and. Um, I enjoy doing these rocks, and I do have a couple of paintings with rocks in them. And um, this is actually a watercolor, a more recent watercolor that I did um, when I was in uh, the Faroe Island in Denmark. These two are kind of an example of my plein air painting because I took a plein air uh, painting workshop from Maggie Renner Hellman, and she's been doing this every summer in. Um, uh, Italy in Tuscany and so this was uh, started both of these were started as a plein air painting from that class and then I, I always go back in the studio and work on it a little bit more. Um, I was invited into the Wanderlust show and I was very excited about it because I've been to many places which I think a lot of the other artists have too so I, I found some paintings that I did quite a while ago uh, and some of them I touched up. And then um, I, I spent a lot of time doing two of, I think I already mentioned, rocks. That's part of the show. And um, I enjoyed looking at other people's scenes and where they went in the show. I really like to wander. Uh, I would like to wander more <laughs> than what I've been doing lately. But uh, it, it's just interesting learning about new places and the way people live and just this the way things look differently in the landscape and the architecture. I'm Kathleen Gamper and I have a background in art from very early on. I, I like to do art as a child and my parents I'm indebted to because they realized that so I never went without supplies and art lessons all that good stuff growing up and I chose to um, focus a lot on art in high school I would ditch other classes and be in the art room a lot and then I went to art school for college and um, and in college I did a lot of um, experimental type art very large paintings, uh, I, I would um, say they were interior landscapes, um, things that I thought about and things on my mind. Now, uh, primarily, I got very interested and involved with YOLO Arts. So we get to go outdoors and 
um, that's that's where I've gone now is I'm I do a lot of work that's uh, outside so I started working with pastel and kind of stuck with that and for many years I was also uh, working with teenagers I taught high school art and um, that that always gave me a lot of joy and uh, it also was a thing that, you know, I, I didn't have a lot of time to do art either, you know, because I was working with others, but um, that helped, you know, fit in like having pastel as a, a medium kind of, I, I thought that worked well. These, these three pastels here are um, three from the Carmel region. Uh, I went down to Carmel and uh, it's it's just so beautiful there, you know, there's what's not to like. Being outdoors, I found, you know, it's it's kind of exciting working outside, but it's also arduous. So by the time I left, I was sitting on the cliffs for that one for a long time. It was like four or five hours, and when I got up, I was like, wow, I don't know if I can walk. But um, that's the thing, I'm not sure people realize that when you're out doing your art, there's so much that goes on that nobody nobody really sees that you know they just see the end um, product, uh, but that's part of the joy is you know going outside and just having all the elements that are sort of there and you have to deal with all that. But my favorite thing about all this is I love I love like working with color. So a lot of what I do is is um, kind of based on my response to what I see and just kind of having fun with the color. Uh, this one is kind of part of this series because this this is from Carmel uh, Beach, a view from Carmel Beach. This is from the cliffs where you kind of see over towards, um, oh gosh, Pebble Beach. And then this one is kind of by the, um, where the river comes in to the ocean. And that that's, uh, Mission, Mission Ranch Inn or something, that view from there. And, and this is uh, Lobos, Point Lobos is over on the other side. So um, anyway, all that, I was just kind of doing a series, like I don't normally do a series, so that was kind of fun is to get a series um, completed. So what drew me to being in this exhibit, which, which was named Wanderlust, I love that name, um, that really spoke to me because I love to go different places and see different things. I kind of think that really feeds, you know, my, my imagery, all that. Um, any, anyone who does art kind of feels like it, it feeds the, the soul that way. And I would say COVID had a big impact on this because with COVID, I don't know about anyone else, but you know, you, it was kind of you're feeling pretty boxed in and, and a lot of things are very restrictive and I found with my art and you know going places I could go alone and and do my artwork or I could meet up with an art friend and being outside it just gave you that liberty you know to do what what you'd like to do and not be restricted with with the COVID thing um, and then also I was I guess kind of brave with COVID where I uh, went along with Ann Lincoln, who's also in the show. She and I did two different workshops, one in Utah and another one up in the foothills near um, Murphy's. But the wanderlust part, I, I think that spoke to everyone in this show. We, we all had lots of imagery that we felt would be um, pertinent to the theme. And it also sparked like this real, you know, interest. We were all just really joyous about, let's do this, let's roll with this. And um, again, it wasn't very premeditated. So to me, it's a joy to see like everything that came out of this. It's all uh, very unique. Um, we were one thing we did discuss was we were we were saying. Hmm. I hope we don't all have paintings of the Eiffel Tower. So, you know, we had some things where we were kind of like, let's make sure we don't do a lot of the same thing. And uh, anyway, I, I think it just came out great. Wanderlust continues at Gallery 625 through August 2nd.